really need to get my eyebrows done. Look at all those chickens! Anyway, moving on. I'm going to be doing a reaction video today. I'm really excited because it's the miseducation of Cameron Post trailer. Technically, it's the French one because it's titled Come As You Are, which is the French version of the movie, and there's French subtitles in it. It's still the miseducation of Cameron Post, so I'm going to react to it anyway. I don't know when or if the American one's going to come out. I can't wait that long, so I'm just going to watch this version. It's still the trailer, but it's just got French subtitles. So after reacting, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the book and what I think about the movie adaptation and all that kind of stuff, but I want to just watch the trailer, so we're just gonna do that now and um, I'm really excited it's up on the screen and let's go all that's left is your signature and we're good to go oh. now you're officially a disciple of God's promise welcome oh fuck <laughs> welcome to God's promise you are at an age where you are especially vulnerable to evil Change will come through God. Oh my God, that's exactly how I imagined it. We're going to spend our time together investigating what led you here. In the past, I would resort to self-pleasure. Then when I learned that that was a sin also, I stopped. <laughs> Cameron, your struggle is with the sin of same-sex attraction. Okay. You're facing the consequences of your actions, and it's ugly. Oh, why does she give such a shit? I guess it's like having your own Disney villain. Only this one won't let you jerk off. <laughs> you don't really seem like the kind of person that'd be here. We didn't have a choice. Did you? You better be ready for the dark days. I mean, couldn't we just walk off and go where? What's worse, karaoke night or living on the streets? Where does my heart <laughs> be now? Tough call. <laughs> You'd rather hit the road not to look back. Are you a bad boy? Tell us about that girl you knew from home. The first step is for you to stop thinking of yourself as a homosexual. I don't think of myself as a homosexual. I, mean, I don't really think of myself as anything. Fuck this place. I'm tired of feeling disgusted with myself. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? I've watched it once, I'm gonna watch it again and again. That looks so, so good. I've been so excited for this film for a long time. When they announced they were making this film, I think that was like 2016, wasn't it? And the only reason like I heard about it because it had Chloe Grace Moretz in and anyone who knows me knows I'm like a huge fan of her. I think she's really cool and I just wanna be a best friend. Um, <laughs> and then it wasn't until the beginning of this year, like January, when I actually read the book. The book is written by Emily M. Danforth and it's honestly one of my favourite books in the world. It's such an amazingly written book. I don't know how she manages to get kind of humour into this book because, you know, if you think about it, the, the main like part of this story is this girl who is gay and it's in 1993. 1993 you know she gets sent to a gay gets sent to a gay conversion therapy camp you know that in itself is quite a dark theme and also her parents die at the beginning of the story as well so there's a lot of dark themes Emily M Danforth writes that so well but she also manages to get humor into it I don't know how she does it but it's amazing and it's just it's such a great book a book that really opened my eyes because I didn't realize that gay conversion therapy was still a thing Apparently it's still a thing in America and I'm like, that just blew my mind. But I was really excited for this movie and obviously it came, it was at the Sundance Film Festival. I was watching like all the interviews about that and I'm really interested to see how they do this movie. I heard from a lot of the interviews that they've cut a lot of the first part of the novel. They focus more on when she arrives at the camp rather than before, which I actually think probably makes more sense in a movie kind of way. Side note, I actually took a 
screenwriting adaptation module this year at university because I studied creative writing, if you didn't know. And I will admit that before I took that module, I always thought that if a movie adaptation isn't 100% like a book, then it's a bad adaptation. And the thing is now, like, I think that's such a narrow-minded way of looking at it. And from a movie perspective, it would actually make more sense if it's based at the camp rather than a lot of what happens at the first half of the book. I'm really excited. I like the vibe that it kind of, it's shown in the trailer. You can definitely tell that it's directed by Desiree Akavan. Um, I think that's how you say your name. I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. So I recently watched um, her movie that she wrote directed and starred in that was called Appropriate Behaviour and I watched it on Netflix the other week and absolutely loved it. It's so incredible and it's so cool to see a woman who's doing writing, directing and acting because that's something that I want to do. I'm an actress and a writer and to be able to do what she's doing is just the goal. I absolutely adored that movie so the fact that she's doing The Miseducation of Cameron Post I am um, buzzing for. I'm just really excited for the movie because it's based on my favourite, one of my favourite books. Read it seriously. I mean I feel like I could create a whole video on that book alone. Emily manages to kind of balance heartbreak and humour just so effortlessly. So far I can kind of you can kind of tell a little bit of that in, in the trailer. You can't obviously tell a lot from a trailer, but you can tell there's a little bit of humour in there, a dry humour, which I love. I love like the dry kind of humour vibe. I'm interested to see how they do it. Obviously, I'm interested to see Chloe Grace Moretz as Cameron Post, because she's one of my favourite actresses. And like I said, I really want to be best friends with her. So anyone know how to be best friends with Chloe Grace Moretz? give me a call. <laughs> sorry, that sounded really weird. Anyway, yeah, sorry I'm a bit all over the place in this video. I'm just really excited. I'm gonna go watch the trailer again and again. Apparently the movie comes out the 3rd of August in America, but it comes out on the 31st of August in the UK. It's, it's still coming to the UK, that's great, but it's like, oh, America gets it on the 3rd of August and I have to wait till the 31st. And it's like another month of waiting, but it's cool. I'll still see it. So thanks for watching this video. I have no idea if I've made any sense during this. The book's incredible. I'm sure the film's gonna be amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. I smell like bees. I smell like bees. I smell like bees.